a lot of people think that protein is the actual devil but it's only because they're not doing it right you're not doing it right using protein on its own will cause protein overload which will lead your hair to break feel rough like hay and you're just not going to enjoy your hair hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jemima and on this channel I share all things hair and lifestyle I think three videos ago I shared about my hair loss story and how I actually grew my hair back and in that video I talked about protein treatments being one of the things that I incorporated in my routine consistently which made a huge difference to my hair and I asked you guys if you wanted a video of me sharing some of my favorite protein treatments with you guys and some of you said yes so here I am delivering as usual so here is what to expect in this video so I'm going to tell you the difference between moisturizing deep conditioners and protein deep conditioners and what to look out for I will also share with you when you should use which type of treatment in your hair then go ahead and give you the recommendations of the treatments that I have used and loved over the years that I have been natural and I'm going to keep my absolute favorite to last if I had to use only one type of treatment in my hair it would be that product so if you want to find out watch till the end to find out what product that is so before we start just a heads up please get a drink get some tea get yourself a snack because it's about to be a long one my intention was not to make this video so long but here we are and if you're able to stay till the end, you're a real one. So what is a deep conditioner? A deep conditioner is usually a thick, creamy mask that's made to target specific hair issues such as breakage and moisture loss. It can be left in the hair anywhere from 20 minutes to overnight and it really depends on the brand that you're using. When it comes to how long you should leave your deep conditioner in for, I know there's a lot of talk about whether you should have it overnight or not and whether it adversely affects your hair, but the best way is to just follow what the product instructs you to do. I have seen certain products that have said the best way is to leave it in overnight. Some have said you don't need any more than 20 minutes. So just do exactly what the product is asking you to do. Sometimes you might need to steam your hair and other times it's enough to just cover it up and wait for the treatment to just penetrate your hair so what is the difference between a moisturizing deep conditioner and a protein deep conditioner or a protein treatment so this can be quite confusing for people because a lot of people don't understand that there are different types of deep conditioners so there's the moisturizing deep conditioner and then there is the protein deep conditioner. The moisturizing deep conditioner has more moisturizing properties to really restore moisture to your hair, the moisture that has been lost during styling, through the weather, just through the daily wear and tear of the hair. So because of that, the moisturizing deep conditioner, as the name suggests, is full of water humectants, emollients, and those are like oils and butters to really up the moisturizing property of the hair. A really good moisturizing deep conditioner will also have some hydrolyzed protein in there. And that's because although moisture is important, protein is also important for the hair to be able to retain that moisture. So, if you're looking out for a moisturizing deep conditioner have a look that at the bottom you know towards the middle or towards the the end of the ingredient list that there is some type of hydrolyzed 
protein in the list and that's what is going to give you the balance that you need between the moisture and the protein which is what helps to rebuild the hair in a way that once you've got that moisture in the hair strands that they get locked in so that is moisturizing deep conditioners now let's talk about protein deep conditioners so protein deep conditioners are mainly to repair the hair if it's broken if there's been like any gaps in the in the hair shaft that you rebuilds those by filling in those gaps and also to just strengthen it so that it does not break easily so that is the the purpose of a protein treatment it's strengthening and it repairs and it reconstructs so all your protein treatments will have that sort of um, wording in the product description or product name so what type of ingredients should you be looking for in your protein treatment so first you should have water and within the first five ingredients you should have some type of hydrolyzed protein or proteins then followed by humectants and these can be either glycerin honey aloe vera and then followed by emollients and these can be oils butters so that's the main difference between the moisturizing deep conditioner and the protein deep conditioner that the protein deep conditioner has more protein as opposed to more moisture now this is very important because a lot of moisturizing deep conditioners are advertised as protein treatments i don't know why but a lot of these brands claim that their products are strengthening when they are not and you will know this depending on where the strengthening product is on the ingredients list this will tell you the amount of the ingredient that is present in the product so the ingredients present in the highest amount are typically listed first and then in a descending order the ingredients present in the least amount are listed towards the end of the ingredients list protein moisture balance what is it and why is it important now our curly hair is inherently dry because of how it grows out of our scalp it's so curly to the point where the natural oils from our scalp cannot dwindle down the length of our hair and it basically just stops at the roots so we apply extra moisture from things like moisturizing deep conditioners to restore the moisture back to our hair that is missing from our hair protein is also important because 91 percent of our hair is made up of protein specifically keratin which strengthens the hair and gives the hair the structure that it needs to remain healthy and strong so because these two things moisture and protein are so important to the health of our hair we need to make sure that they're both present in their right amount if you have too much moisture as in you do lots of moisturizing deep conditioning but you never do your protein treatment you will end up with moisture overload and then if you always do protein treatment but never follow up with a moisturizing deep treatment then you will end up with protein overload and further down in this video we will talk about what happens when you experience protein overload or a moisture overload so when do you need these treatments let's start with the moisturizing deep conditioner so the role that i see the moisturizing deep conditioner playing in any hair care routine is to just give that needed topper for the moisture that we may be struggling to to keep in our hair do these treatments when your hair needs a boost in moisture when it's been feeling dry when you feel like it's just breaking or you have a color treatment a lot of people go without doing 
deep conditioners. Some people just wash their hair and step right out of the shower without even going in with a regular rinse out conditioner. That is a huge no, no, no. So no, don't do that. You need to replenish the moisture that you have just rinsed out of your hair. When should you do your protein treatment? Well, you should do your protein treatment when your hair feels really dry, it's breaking easily, your hair is literally falling out of your scalp, so you're losing hair and it's shedding a lot and this is unprovoked. You're not sick, there's nothing wrong with you, but your hair is just falling out. You need to do a protein treatment to strengthen your strands. You also need to do a protein treatment if your hair is colored. Any type of chemical treatment that's applied to the hair, you apply heat to your hair very often and that could be blowouts or curling your hair or straightening your hair. So if you do any of these things, you will need to incorporate protein treatments into your routine because all these things gradually break down the keratin bonds in our hair, which means that it makes the hair become weak over time. And that's when it starts breaking if you don't incorporate protein treatment into your routine. And if you have damaged hair, that goes without saying you need protein treatments. Also, before you use heat on your hair, so before you straighten your hair, blow out, anything like that, it's important to do a protein treatment first. So what you're doing there is you're building a strong foundation for what you are about to put your hair through. So by doing that, your hair is built in a way that it's able to withstand whatever you put it through, be it the styling with the heat or just how the hair is handled. Your hair is ready for anything that you throw at it, right? So I hope that explain when to, to use your protein treatment and, and also what to look out for. Also use protein treatments to strengthen your hair when recovering from hair loss caused by illness or stress in order to help retain length whilst regrowing the hair. Is the leave-in conditioner enough? Like I said, I know people who just go into the shower, shampoo their hair and then step right out without using any type of conditioner, be it rinse out or deep conditioner because they think that their leave-in conditioner is enough to put back the moisture that the hair has lost and the moisture that the hair needs. Well, I am sorry to break it to you, but your leave-in conditioner is not enough, dear. It's just not enough. The difference between the leave-in conditioner and a deep conditioner is that the leave-in conditioner is quite light sometimes in texture compared to the deep conditioner, which is usually very creamy, very high in emollients that are quite penetrative. It's just made for a little bit more intense treatment than your leave-in conditioner. Your leave-in conditioner is not a treatment. It's something that you're supposed to apply every couple of days. But the deep conditioner is so intense to the point where you only need to do it once a week, a couple of times in the month, or even just once a month. That's how intense it is. So there's a huge difference and clearly your leave-in conditioner is not enough. Using leave-in conditioners as well as moisturizing deep conditioners in your routine is the best way to moisture train your hair, to keep your hair moisturized so that it doesn't dry out, it stays strengthened and it also, you know, retains the the natural properties of the hair, such as the elasticity, so that it doesn't feel dry too quickly because you've given it that, that much needed, you know, extra boost in moisture every so often. How often should you deep condition? Certain people have now started saying that deep conditioning every time you wash your hair 
is not important but what they leave out of that conversation is that it depends how often you're washing your hair obviously if you wash your hair every week then you may not need to to use a moisturizing deep conditioner every week because you know it may not be necessary for your hair type right but for someone else it may be but one thing that is absolutely true is if you wash your hair less frequently you definitely need to do a moisturizing treatment or a protein treatment every time you wash your hair let's use me as an example for my hair care routine i wash my hair once a month or longer so it's really important for me that i use some type of treatment in my hair every month so for me it's not a moisturizing deep conditioner that i would need but rather a moisturizing protein treatment because by the time a month comes up my hair has been through so much it needs way more than just moisture it needs more of a strengthening treatment with moisture on the side so that's what we need to keep in mind when it comes to thinking about when to do your treatment don't just listen to what people are saying but use your head use your head compare and contrast what's out there do your own research and do what works for you and your routine just because someone comes out and say i don't do this anymore doesn't mean that you should also just blindly follow and not do it no 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 so <laughs> try this routine if you wash your hair every two weeks if i washed my hair twice a month as opposed to just once a month i would do a moisturizing deep treatment for the first 14 days and then for the second time that i wash my hair in the month i will do a protein treatment so for protein treatments it's advised that you do them once a month so every four weeks to every eight weeks right so depending on the type of routine that you have if you wash your hair weekly then you will wash your hair with shampoo use your your normal rinse out conditioner maybe follow with a moisturizing deep conditioner every week so that's three times a week and then on the last week which will make the fourth week you then switch it up and use a protein treatment now with a moisturizing deep conditioner you may not always need it but if you did it once or twice in that month i think that should be enough but one thing that you cannot miss is your protein treatment that is absolutely important because that's what strengthens your hair and you know rebuilds it from all the battering that it has taken you know the prior week or the prior month so definitely keep that in mind so there's something known as moisture overload and protein overload so let's talk about moisture overload so moisture overload is say somebody who just always does moisturizing deep treatments and never follows up with a protein treatment so your hair becomes too soft i think about 91 percent of the hair is made up of protein and these keratin structures are basically what give the hair its structure so when that's depleted and you have too much moisture in your hair the hair just feels mushy it feels mushy like if you were to have your afro out it just wouldn't hold right like the shape would just not be right it will just fall into itself if i find a picture i will insert it when you have moisture overload your hair is too soft it doesn't have any structure it also breaks easily when you stretch it it doesn't like spring back to what it was before so it loses its elasticity you'll have a lot more split ends you will have a lot more knotting at the ends so how do you fix moisture overload first you need to clarify your hair to get rid of 
all the product build up in your hair. Then two, you need to repair the hair with a protein treatment in order to strengthen it and also to just restore the structure of the hair. And lastly, you need to trim all the damage and the split ends that came about as a result of your moisture overload. Protein overload, what is it and what are the signs that you need to look out for? Protein needs to be balanced with moisture for it to basically do what's needed for the hair. Too much protein will result in the hair feeling too stiff and hard and make it more susceptible to breakage. So a lot of people think that protein is the actual devil, but it's only because they're not doing it right. You're not doing it right. Using protein on its own will cause protein overload, which will lead your hair to break, feel rough like hay, and you're just not going to enjoy your hair. But couple that or follow it up with a moisturizing deep conditioner and you literally have the best hair, okay? My hair, I have deep conditioned and blown it out. And honestly, the spring that it has in it, these um, ends curl up like amazingly and you can just tell the difference it's strengthened it doesn't feel like if i touch it it's going to break let's get into the different types of moisturizing deep conditioners and protein deep conditioners that i have used and loved in the past so i will start with the moisturizing deep conditioners at the end i will share with you three others that i have but have not used before just so if you're wanting to, to try those you can as well i'm probably gonna try them at some point but just haven't had the time yet so i'm gonna start with this hydrate and repair protein power treatment by shea moisture i absolutely loved what this did to my hair it felt moisturized and strengthened so this is what it looks like it's very thick let's just look at the ingredients list right the first one is water so that's good and then the second one is citril alcohol and then caprylic triglyceride and then there's the castor seed oil so in this deep conditioner it seems to have a lot more emollients and all the other stuff humectants and then when you get to almost a quarter way down of the ingredient list then you see if it has hydrolyzed vegetable protein so this is a good moisturizing deep conditioner the name suggests that this is a protein treatment but we know that it cannot be a protein treatment because it has more moisturizing properties than strengthening properties which would be the hydrolyzed protein now if this was a real protein treatment the hydrolyzed protein would have been in the top part of the ingredient list at least within the top five ingredients so yeah this is a good moisturizing deep conditioner if you want to try one thing that i also wanted to say is that if you are protein sensitive these type of moisturizing um, deep conditioners are good because the protein is so far down the list that it won't really do your hair as bad as if you used a full-blown protein treatment so definitely give this a try if you're protein sensitive and see how that goes the second moisturizing deep conditioner that i have tried and loved since 2020 is the equibotanics babasu deep treatment moisture mask i love 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 this product because of the simplicity of it it has some amazing oils and butters in there 
um, and then towards the end of the ingredients list it has baobab tree protein in there my hair feels so so moisturized after this with just like a hint of strength and i love that feeling it also says here that it's highly concentrated and this lasted me a good a year because obviously i don't use it all the time but i think i probably got about four uses out of it and i have a lot of hair so when it says it's highly concentrated it's no joke it's highly concentrated so it's a family owned black business female owned as well um it's a nigerian lady amazing amazing product i love the marula oil leave-in conditioner love 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 it just like the moisture that it gives is just unmatched it's so good um it's a little bit out of my price range for something that i am going to like buy all the time because this is 30 pounds the 100 mil is 15 pounds but it's so worth it and if i could afford it all the time i'd buy it but i think i'm gonna stock up during the black friday this month i mean this year so that's what i'm gonna do so don't sleep on this brand equi botanics definitely check them out they have amazing amazing products these are my favorite too if there's one thing you need to know about me is that i don't care about shampoo i don't care about any of those other like cleaning products but give me a leave-in conditioner or a deep conditioner any day obsessed I have so many leave-in conditioners and deep conditioners because I believe that I can use any shampoo, whether it's stripping or has all the sulfates and blah, blah, blah. It could mess up my hair, but I can use any of these two to fix it. Isn't that amazing? So I have always been like this. I can use any shampoo on my hair, but I will not use just any leave-in conditioner or any deep conditioner in my hair because I deem those like more important than the shampoos because I know the that they're more of like corrective products, especially the deep conditioner. So yeah, anyway, I digress. The next deep conditioner that I like that is moisturizing is the Afoji Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor. I like to use this when I can tell that my hair needs a little bit of a, of a boost, like when I touch my ends and then I see little bits coming off or I can see that it's knotting a little bit more than usual, but then I don't have time to do a full-blown proper protein treatment like I'd like to, then I'd go in with this two-minute reconstructor. It says to leave it in for like two to three minutes, I think, but I end up leaving it in for about 10 to 15 minutes whilst I'm in the shower. And it does the job. My hair feels strengthened. Um, it also feels soft. It says it adds strength, softness in one step and quick and effective against the heat and chemical damage. So I love this for those quick protein boosts that I, I may need, but then I don't have um, time to do like the real thing. So looking at the ingredients list, the first one is water followed by glycerin, which is a humectant. And then there's like other stuff like mineral oil and then it goes into like other oils and then you see hydrolyzed vegetable protein and that's like towards the top so it has more protein than any of these moisturizing deep conditioners that i have used but i still also wouldn't count it among like proper protein treatments because it doesn't have a very high amount of protein in it compared to like a proper protein treatment which would have the protein as like the second or the third or the fourth ingredients to be like a hydrolyzed protein so definitely use this if you're experiencing damage but not too much like you need a little bit of protein but you know you don't really have time to do the real thing you can use this until you have time so that's why i do another one of my absolute favorite moisturizing deep conditioners is this camille rose algae renew moisturizing deep conditioning mask i absolutely love this product 
So the description for it is that it's a vitamin packed moisturizing and strengthening treatment infused with blue green algae. Now when we look at the ingredient list, the first one is water of course, followed by aloe vera juice which is our humectant and then followed by shea butter which is our emollient and then followed by coconut oil and then the list goes on it has glycerin at some point but a lot of this is just oils and butters and then towards the bottom you have the algae extract which i believe that's probably where the strengthening properties come from because everything else is just like oils and butters it's so so good guys definitely try it so whilst editing this video i realized that this deep conditioner contains msm towards the bottom of the ingredient list and this got me really excited because i started using msm this year after my hair fell out for the second time i haven't shared that yet but that's coming in another video and that just made me really excited about this product and I'm really looking forward to restocking. I love that. I like the feel of this um, it keeps my hair just so moisturized and it feels strengthened at the same time and yeah there's I've got nothing else to say is that good so definitely try it so next is the sunny isle Jamaican black castor oil deep conditioner I don't have that right now i've not used it for probably like two years but that's what i used to use consistently before um 2020 when i found a whole different protein which basically took me to the next step in my hair care in terms of like hair health and strength so yeah i had to move from just the moisturizing deep conditioners that had a little bit of protein to like proper protein treatment to see different results and to move from shoulder length hair to bra strap length and then mid back right now so yeah definitely check that out that was really good for me at the time for the hair goals that i had so next i'm going to share with you products that i i have but i haven't used and all these were gifted some through um the treasure trust box i am going to put the their instagram and also the link to their website and also a subscription code so that when you do subscribe that uh, you can get a i think it's a 10 percent discount so it's actually a 25 percent discount and you can get that using my code limitless bloom 25 i got some of these products from there actually all of these products i got from the treasure tress box i mean the products that i'm about to show you i got from the treasure tress box so the first one is the trepidora quinoa repair deep conditioner i haven't tried this like i said but it looks like it's really good. The reviews are amazing. And if we look at the ingredients, it's got water, it's got citril alcohol, then it's got Inca Inchi oil, then it's got coconut oil, then it's got a few more chemicals. Then it's got um, cocoon butter and then it has hydrolyzed quinoa so i guess that's where the strengthening comes from it has amazing reviews i'll put some on the screen when i find it so i'm really excited to use this especially for the tight curl girlies the people who are curl training their hair they would love this so the next one is the imbue curl restoring intensive mask and i haven't tried this also but it looks great i haven't checked the reviews or anything but based on the other products that i've tried especially their leave-in conditioner if that's anything to go by i'm sure this will be equally good as well so looking at the ingredients it's water cetyl alcohol propylene glycol um, some other stuff that i can't pronounce and then there's cocoa butter something something seed butter 
some more chemicals and then it's got shea butter coconut oil then it's got three different types of hydrolyzed protein so it's got hydrolyzed corn protein hydrolyzed soy protein and hydrolyzed wheat protein so it does say intensive mask so yeah it's got the protein in there and it's bang in the middle of the ingredient list so that's quite a bit of protein for your moisture balance as well so yeah definitely try the imbue curl restoring intensive mask if you're looking for a new moisturizing um deep conditioner so the next one is this shea moisture moringa and avocado power greens reconstructor with kale matcha and green algae so i haven't tried this yet again but i am sure it's good i'm just going to look at the ingredients so it doesn't have quite a long ingredient list as the ones that i've just spread but it's got aqua and then cetyl alcohol it's got glycerin and then it's got moringa oil avocado oil shea butter and then it's got hydrolyzed silk protein that's where the strengthening is coming from so yeah i'm not sure about this i haven't looked i haven't used it before i haven't checked out the um, reviews on it but it has moringa oil which is good it's got avocado oil and it's got a lot of other greens so definitely try it out if you're looking for a new moisturizing um deep conditioner that also has protein so now moving on to my all-time favorite protein treatment that i have been using since 2020 and when i shared my hair loss um story this product was literally the impetus to the to the growth that i saw and just the everything that changed about my hair that was good i would literally chuck it up to this product and also with other stuff that i am doing other healthy hair care practices that i, I was doing and still do right now so drum roll it's the protein defense by anytan hair studios now all you can see in here all of this all of this is pure hydrolyzed protein it hasn't been mixed with nothing else so this says that it's a concentrated and pure ingredient it provides amino acids to help defend the hair it helps keep the hair elastic by controlling the, the rate of moisture loss from the hair supports maintaining the natural structure of the hair by replenishing the voids of the hair and preventing further weakening of the hair so that's what it says and like i said before do not use on hair without diluting with a conditioner so that's what you need to know about this product if you didn't learn anything from this video know that this product you're not supposed to just put it directly in your hair you're supposed to mix it with a moisturizing conditioner and how i use this is i mix it with this tresemme conditioner so this is a rinse out conditioner moisturizing conditioner i've been using does anyone remember the tresemme naturals conditioner that came like years ago when the natural hair movement like started over 10 years ago that's when i started being natural and i've since then i've always got one of this in my bathroom i tell you no lie i love this so much because i like like i said i'm a very i'm like a moisture girl i don't care about shampoos and stuff but give me a conditioner a good conditioner a good a good deep deep conditioner a good leave-in treatment any day right and i like to just slather these things in my hair so i like this is cheap like three pounds and you get 900 ml so almost a liter for three pounds so it's really good you you need to mix 
this protein because it's all protein you need to mix it with a moisturizing rinse out conditioner not a, a conditioner that has protein in it no 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 that's a no no it needs to be fully moisturizing and you mix it so the ratio is one of this teaspoon to three teaspoons of conditioner or tablespoons whichever you like but yeah this this duo is literally my go-to and if i never had access to any other conditioner this would do me good like forever and ever so i know like i'm being quite dramatic but it's that good like i have all these protein treatments that i try and some when when i like it and i finish i wouldn't buy another one because i know that this is my staple like i always have this at home i might try other things but i always come back to this when i need serious protein treatment this is what i go to because this is like top notch and all you're getting is strength from this okay but then you need the moisture to balance it out so your hair doesn't fall out if you use this on its own you will be bald <laughs> so yeah if you want to try out this protein treatment I'll put the link below and when you go let Anita know that I sent you okay that I am the plug so that she can know that I'm spreading the good word for her product also I buy this with my own little points you know none of this is gifted um, I love her products she has like other products like scrunchies made of mulberry silk I buy those as well I love using them in my hair like this one so yeah when you go let her know that she's got supporters here and we love her product and yeah an alternative for any protein treatment would be this real protein treatment by green beauty i'll also put the link down in the description box so if you're in america and you don't want to be paying no huge delivering fees then definitely check out green beauty's product i've not used it before but her reviews are great this is the end of this video and i'd like you guys to give me suggestions of other protein treatments that you that you love and use or any moisturizing deep treatments that you love and use as well so that we can all you know experiment find different ones if we need to find different ones and and just so we can have sort of like um, a little bit of a review going on about different products which will be great so thank you for watching if there's anything that didn't make sense definitely put questions in the comments and i will answer as always i'll put links to all the products that i've mentioned either on amazon or on the respective websites of these brands in the description box thank you so much for watching if there's any videos that you want me to make definitely let me know and don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you as always see you in my next video bye if you're looking for more of my videos to watch why don't you watch my hair loss story and how i regrew my hair back thick and strong and also my non-greasy whipped shea butter if you're into diy whipped body butters enjoy